Simcha Anna can come. Uh, welcome to Crackpot episode three. We're here with uh, Michal Krisbel. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, Prusansky. Prusansky is the name. That's what I said. Michal Prusansky. We're here with Michal Prusansky, um, renowned uh, singer, artist, <coughs> entrepreneur, entrepreneur, philanthropist, father, son, husband. Not in that specific order. Thank you again for coming on the show. You're welcome. I heard from somebody that, uh, that you're a flat earther. Is that true? What's a flat earther? I, w- I wasn't expecting you to ask me, ask me that. I just, was just doing some research. But I think it's something to do with the, like, <clears throat> like, um, the global warming. I mean, that was only yours. I'm not following. <clears throat> if you're not following, then... I one time heard a quote from Shwaki. Um, he said, I'm not following, I'm a leader. I mean, Shwaki's great, he's a good friend of mine. Woo! Yeah. Shwaki, uh, well, yeah! What's with you? No, you jumping around stage doing a six step to sound like a sea otter. Um, how do you expect to make it in the industry? Do you have like a special handshake you do with other singers? <clears throat> no. This Flatbush Balabas attitude is not really flying by me so well. Uh, frankly, I, I didn't realize I'd be going You call me a Frank? I'll walk out on you. I don't need to be here. You called me. I don't need to be here. Uh, I... Are you going to also do a Greatest Showman ripoff like every other Jewish singer? When are you going to retire? When you run out of Prue's names? Prue's Bowl, Prue's Control. What's next? Ted Prue's? That's funny. Did you ever have stage fright? Did you ever struggle with stage fright? I got a bit nervous sometimes before a show. What do you do to, to take off the edge? I'll just uh, calm myself down, get pump myself up, and uh, what in the world is that? What is going on? Oh, this is an ad. In and out. In and out. <clears throat> Wait, lower it down again. Milmart. Not away from him. Away from him. Milmart. Uh, su- surprisingly fresh. Ma- <clears throat> magic in every bite. Stupid. Sorry. You took a huge hiatus for like eight years between okay. Prue's Missile and... and uh, the latest one? Uh, no. The last one was called Shooting for the Moon. There was an amazing quote from that song. I shoot for the moon, but I'm too busy gazing at stars. I feel amazing and I'm not afraid to take a stand. Everybody come take my hand. I was blown away from that line. The amount of energy, the creativity. That's not the line. How do you deal with the fame? I deal with it, you know. It's, uh, you don't get fed up. You don't, you don't walk the streets just waiting to be raced on, just waiting for some 14-year-old brat to approach you with, with his little uh, CD that you, he probably ripped. Stop going to Landau's. You know, people will run over to me. Oh, you celeb. Oh, pack. Anyway, a friend of mine told me that Baruch Levine one time had a quote. He said... Um, I'm thankful for every fan that I get, but I can't use the bathroom without someone standing by it. No, I won't sign you an autograph. Call me an achzer. I'm glad because I am whatever you say I am. You're looking like you're not happy to be here. Uh, I'm not. I, I thought it would be completely different. I, I... So what are you working on nowadays? Um, I'm working on, on a new single. It's uh, called Choser Elecha. Beautiful song. Um, it was actually produced by Avi Newmark and arranged by Jan. Yanni. Uh, wow. I forgot to do this before. I'm sorry. I'm Pinchas Lerkowitz. This is the Crackpot Show. If you like it, please subscribe up here. If you don't like it, leave an angry comment below. We'll, we'll be sure to read it. How are your friends Mark and Ray doing? <clears throat> what are you referring to? 
Show me the way. Na, 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 OTD, sob story, blah, blah, blah. That's a beautiful song. What's new? You're angry at the system. No, no, no. That song helped uh, a lot of people. Yeah, I don't roll like that. Get back on the derach. Beautiful accolades from all over the world. From this the is what helps people get back on the derach. It's right here. Okay, I've been in Chinuch 20 years. Not one guy. You see, it's people like you that make these kids go off the derach in the first place. You're judging me. You're judging me right now. You take a beautiful song like Show Me The Way and, 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 and so many kids have come back from that song. You have one of those counters on the website like showing how many? No, but I've gotten phone calls from people. They're not, not pranks? I'm sorry, I'm being very uh, um, and, ambiguous. Uh, it's a nice song. What do you say to some, to some cho? Some cho-cho. Smells good. Yeah. It's delicious. Best believe. Only, only the best. Did you make it? My wife Chedva made it. <clears throat> I'm gonna teach you something that you won't learn on any cooking show, on any, um, on any of those Jewish shows. They try to. <clears throat> Um, when you're opening a chalent, your key mistake is to take from the top. The, 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 it's, it's called the swivel and swan. You, you shake it up enough to get the steam up, um, and it gives you that, it gives you that, um, you know. <clears throat> Thank you. Try it at home. You'll be shocked. You have like a lot of exotic cars, Maserati. Uh, on one of your uh, music videos, you had a, a Bugatti. That was another one of your... What in the world is, is going on here? Uh, Meal Mart, unexpectedly Gavaldic. Uh, <coughs> what is this? It's, it's, it's okay, it's okay, it's fine. Just you think this down. is funny? You think this is all funny? You bring singers on your show and this is, you dump on them? And okay, you, don't take it so personal. That's how you get your kicks, right? Don't you take it so funny? personal. No, no, it's okay, yeah, just no, sit no. down. How about no, you sit like down. How do you like that? How do you like that, right? Does that feel good? How does that feel? Does that feel good? Because that's what you do with people on your show? Let's get out of here. Get out of here! Oh, you wish, wish Charlie or Rary when I need him. Hey, listen. <clears throat> this whole thing is, I, 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 I try my whole life to get into the music industry. I have a golden voice. And just... I thought maybe I'll give it a shot of getting into the industry by interviewing celebs and then maybe I can, I can just get a second shot at it. So I didn't mean to come off as crass. I didn't mean to come off like that. Can, can we, can I just give it a shot? Can we try to, let's do a duet together. Go ahead. You can seal, you know what to do. It's terrible. Um, clearly you're not cut out for, for music or hosting. But you're probably good at other things. You make a mean shot. Wear some Kalina when we need them. I won't be coming back. Why is he so sensitive? I don't know. So, so basically, when I was 12 years old, um, I sang like by Bert and Cheder, and my rabbi said, You're a very good singer, you're so talented, but like, but the other guy sing, or whatever. So that's when I changed the sheet and said, I don't put full time music. So now I'm like, you know, I don't need this guy. Like, I have like big names, like, you know, Marcha with David? Mary Kay, I don't have Mary Kay's number, you could call me like Benny Dana. You know, Benny Freeman? I'm Uncle Slurkowitz. If you like what you saw, subscribe below um, and for more content. Uh, if you don't like what you saw and you, and it, it, you feel triggered, then uh, leave an angry comment and uh, get some help. You know, people are uh, people are hurting out there.
Charlie Harari once said, when you're hurting, it's the biggest opportunity to grow. If you're tired of feeling down, call 1-877-498-GROW. That's grow with a Y-G-Y-R-O. And um, for Shalema.